Hello and welcome back to Rimworld. And uh, last time we had a bit of a mech invasion. Everything went well. Uh, and our allies here, the League of Kroima, sent three... Yeah, three squads to help me out with the mechs. They didn't really do much. Uh, they did kill the Centurion out here. So that's neat. But uh, most of them were handled by the traps. Oh, what happened? Timberwolf got revenge after being harmed. Who hurt the Timberwolf? Timberwolf, why'd you do that? Alright, I don't want to butcher it. I have plenty of meat. It's just going to take up another slot here. Yeah, I forgot. I was going to disable the insects so they couldn't come back. I forgot to do that. Uh, there is like a dev mode. It's not enabled right now, but I think I'm going to enable it later and see if I can disable um, insect infestations because I don't know of a good way of dealing with that. Um, I mean, I could just put my research area in another section get all my stuff out of here but I can't move this that's that's the problem my research bench is just stuck there I can move the multi-analyzer so I'd have to build a new one I don't know I'll just disable the insects I'd rather deal with mechs they're a lot more fun So right now we're researching marine armor. Yeah, we're not too far off. We got recon armor last time. And then above that is cataphract armor. I don't think I need that though. These uh, mechs are gonna net us a lot of plasteel, I think. Scyther blades, uh, some steel. So if I look at my stocks here, food stocks, I've got 22 coffee beans. Where's all my coffee? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm not overproducing anything. Okay, probably have too much corn. Too many berries, maybe. Definitely too many tea leaves. Oh, I'm not... I'm not growing very much. A mad hare. Alright, good luck, mad hare. Good luck getting through my defenses. I feel like I want more Devil Strand, maybe. What about Heal Root? Yeah, I'm not really producing too much of that. I might need to just add another arm. 
Wouldn't really be the worst idea. What I'm worried about, I don't want to downgrade any of my production because my food production because I'm going to get more colonists eventually. Oh, Medina, please, God, finish that bionic hand. That, I need to get that done. How much hay am I growing? Uh, where is my hay? Did I stop growing hay? This is all corn, cotton, heel root, tea, coffee, strawberry. I see no hay. Let's see, if I want to expand this... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Am I gonna have room? Uh, barely. I will have to... Shrink my pen here a little bit. That's fine, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I got this cotton farm here. Let's turn off allow sewing. Okay. I'll build that. I think that's the right size. That's 11. That's 11. Yeah, it should be 11 by 11. Uh, yes. Okay, we'll build this for now. And then finish it after... This is done. This is done growing this patch here. And uh, we'll plant some more stuff in this corner here. I think we have enough power to power another sun lamp. Alright, squirrel, when are you going to wake up? Oh, auto-wake. I suppose I should have that on. Death resting, 71%. Yeah, have her auto-wake. No reason not to, really. to shrink this down a little bit. And 
Deconstruct. Oh no, not again. It's happening again. Oh, this is a nightmare. Why don't they spawn here? Why not here? There's so much more room here. And it should be so much more appealing. There's no lights. Is it because it's not closed off here in the corner? I don't think that would be, uh, affect it. Do they just love to spawn where production buildings are? All right, I had to load my game again <laughs> because of the infestation. Um, I went ahead and got a mod that disables infestations. I should have disabled them when I created the game, but I thought I could deal with them. Okay, yeah, Manhunters. So that's what we get instead, uh, this event. Which is fine, Manhunters, that's fine. Panthers, how many are there? Oh god. Okay, um... Uh, we can tear them up pretty easily with our kill box thing here. Uh, but not all of them. Some of them I think are gonna get through. See what happens. How many are there? 18? That's not bad. Listen to them all meowing in unison. Growling, I guess. Uranium turrets will take care of them. Oh, keep running. Don't. Stop. Stinky, no. Okay, no more. Yeah, they're all downed. Okay. Stinky took a... Stinky got bit. Scratched with a panther paw. They'll be fine. All oh, right. Yeah, that went about as expected. I didn't think my turrets would be able to handle that many of them. But uh, we managed to whittle them down pretty good before they got through. Oh, the warg is having a meal. We got a royal tribute collector. Um, I've never interacted with these guys. How much honor would I get if I offer gold, I wonder? I might give it a try. How much gold do I have? 146? Nah, 
I kind of need it. Who needs a bionic hand? Uh, Thesov, right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, I'll wait till everyone wakes up. And then we'll do some surgery. She finished, or Medina finished, the bionic hand here. I'll have Dunk talk to these guys, see what kind of reputation we can get uh, by offering gold. See how much we can get. Just gotta wait for everyone to wake up. Yeah, my intention with the disabling the insects isn't really to, like, make the game super easy or just super chill and without challenge. Uh, they're just annoying. I don't mind other events like drop pods dropping in. Those I can, I can deal with and they're interesting and fun to figure out how to deal with those. But the insects are just... I don't enjoy them at all. All right, dunk. Let's trade. I'm gonna save my game here. Okay, so I can trade, what is it, 50 gold for one honor? Is that it? Sixty-seven gold for one honor. I'm not sure that's worth it, given how hard gold is, <laughs> how hard uh, gold it is to come by. And I just I need it. I need it for many things. Advanced components. Squirrel's gonna wake up in four hours. They're gonna have a new ability. Allows them to move faster. After they wake up, I'll, I'll check them, see how much faster they can move. Transport pod. Oh, we get a new colonist? Oh, you are not in good shape. A medieval sailor named Kachnath is crashing in a transport pod. If she survives, she, she will be badly wounded. She's from our enemy. Oh. So we can capture her for recruitment or slavery purposes. Let's have a look. Uh, just like the Sov, you have the fire spew ability. You're an impid. Greedy. Chemical fascination. Bloodlust. I... I don't know. I don't, um... 
I don't want to recruit you. Your skills aren't good enough to have to deal with this. If I capture you... And then set you free, maybe I can... Gain some favor... From the filth chokers. I don't think that'll work, but... Uh, well, let's... Why not? Let's give it a try. Who is... Well, nobody's near... Uh, nearby, but... Alright, dunk. Capture. And they just walk right on by. Just completely ignoring... The wounded... <laughs> person. Guess has nothing to eat. Okay, we got new guests. Let's have a look. Uh, shopping area, food and dining. Are any of you worth... Making friends with? Oh, you're pretty good. Try to entertain. Oh, I don't think I can recruit them anyway. But uh, we'll try to entertain them anyway. Work on our social skill. Uh, this person is iron weld, tough, and a wimp. A tough wimp and delicate. So they get less damage from being tough and a damage increase. They take more damage from being delicate. Uh, interesting set of traits there. I don't know if this person is going to survive being hauled back. Taking a long time. Yeah, barely. Looks like they should uh, be okay, though. Their wounds aren't life-threatening. Just a lot of blood loss. Psychic Soothe. That's good. And look at that. Squirrel is up and about. All right, let's have a look. You should be moving faster. Ah, uh, here we go. Move speed, 5.38. That's a little... faster than normal. Oh, you can see on the right. Yeah, here we go. Relevant health conditions. So the glucosoid rush helps me move uh, about 12% faster, so it's not a lot faster. But uh, I also have the fast runner gene. Yeah, base value 4.6 per second, now 5.38. Okay, so it's not a huge uh, buff, but w I guess we can add more of these to increase that buff or add different kinds of machines. Unfortunately, we're out of blood packs for Squirrel. Uh, Medina. 
Oh, McCarthy's sleeping. I was gonna draw some blood from Medina. Oh, wait. Oh. Yeah, they got infected. That's not surprising. But I, I think they'll still be okay. No big deal if they die. When they can walk, we'll uh, let them go free. See if we can gain some favor with the faction. Probably not. They're uh, very hostile. I don't think they'll like us no matter what we do. The filth chokers. I mean, just that name... I don't know if I want to be friends with them. Yeah, I'm keeping a close eye on this pollution situation here. So far, it there's no danger of it spreading outside the influence of these trees. So that's good. Hey, this guy's helping with uh, research. I love it when they do that. Alright, McCarthy. Visiting grave. Okay, when you're done with that. Extract some blood packs, why don't you? Squirrels gotta eat. Or drink, I guess. Drink those blood packs. Haven't had a trader in a while. I need someone to buy up all these parkas. So what other options do I have here as far as uh, death rest stuff? So we got this hemo pump. Now nah, that just increases the amount of hemogen they can store in their body. Uh, hemogen amplifier might be good. They'll get more hemogen from any packs they consume. Links to death rest casket. Yep, do it. Build it there. I'm gonna need more uh, blood though. We'll borrow some from Dunk.
I don't want everyone to be woozy at the same time, so I'm not going to extract blood from anyone else right now. I'll do that uh, tomorrow. I need five packs of blood for the amplifier. Then uh, next time Squirrel sleeps, she'll get this effect. Although before then, I'm going to have to use... Uh, where is it? We gotta give her some more death rest slots. Death rest capacity serum, yeah. I gotta use at least one of those before she sleeps next. Vasov, what are you doing? You're playing with Tazar? That's cool. He's not uh, related to the baby, but I guess he found the baby cute and decided to play with it. Sure. Let's uh, keep making those sculptures. Got a few masterworks here. Somewhere. Well, at least one. Um, do any of these need replacing? Well, I need one in this room. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. And it's a trade ship. Sweet. Alright, who's going to trade? My highest social is uh, Retzeron. Oh, you know what? I could use, uh... I could use your blood. Ah, you're gonna die anyway. Might as well. <laughs> medical emergency. You're about to have another medical emergency in just a moment. Um... Oh, yeah. Let's run. Waiting for you to wake up. Okay, thank you. Let's see what this trader has. They're a general goods trader, so they should buy my... Uh, my, um... Art. I'll buy an advanced component. They only have one, but it's not too expensive. A smoke leaf joint, you can have all those. What is this drug? A drug for preventing infections. Okay. Must be taken every five days to remain effective. Okay. Uh, and brandy, ooh. No, thank you. Guys, uh, it says can be used to change the color of walls, buildings, and more. I've never tried these. Is that a new thing?
Hmm. Immuno enhancer. An analysis computer inspects the bloodstream. Yeah, this uh increases uh, immunity gain speed. That's pretty nice. Well, that's mine. I don't want to sell it. Where did I get that? I don't remember. All right, let's sell. It's a good opportunity to sell all this worn out garbage. I'll keep one of the excellent kid parkas. Uh, I'll keep the fur one. Oh no, I don't own that one. That's his. Okay, I think I think I'm good. Just get some uh, Nutramine, a few more components, some chocolate just to make everyone happy. Yep, good to go. Wait a minute, we're not done with you. <laughs> it doesn't have enough blood to produce a pack. Well, we'll wait till she has enough blood. Another ambrosia spout, sprout. I've got four packs. I just need one more. And then we can uh, build this thing. And we got a gift, an airwire headset. The heck is that? A simple head mounted comms computer that slightly increases a mechanator's control bandwidth. Allows them to control more mechs. Okay. Well, I only have two mechs and I don't have any immediate plans to uh, build any more yet because I don't want to deal with the pollution. There's other mechs I want to use. They're much more expensive and I can't make them yet. I'm hoping we'll get a, a robot uh, vendor come by at some point and I could buy some. I've had a few, but... All the robots they're offering have been like cooking bots, crafting bots. I don't need those. I need cleaning bots and hauling bots. But uh, they'll come by eventually. All right. I think this is a good place to end it. Been a pretty uh, productive episode, I think. We had a panther raid. Took care of them. And uh, we're working on our... Expanding our farm a little bit. We gotta wait till this grows and then we can disassemble it. The rest of the cotton here. But uh, yeah, things are going good. And research is over 50% for marine armor. And once that's done, once that's done, we're gonna make a bunch of that. As much as I can anyway. And we got more visitors. Let's set them 
Is that their shopping area? Alright, well, that'll do it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.